Hey, what's going on everyone? In this video, I'm going to show you how to restore a corrupted iPod. Now, this tutorial will be very friendly towards both macOS and Windows users, so there's no need to worry. When you start your iPod, you are initially greeted with the Apple logo, but then you get a screen that says use iTunes to restore in multiple languages. The main reason behind the screen is that the iPod's bootloader is unable to load the OS, and as a result, it goes into a recovery state. In earlier iPods, such as the classic fourth gen or below, you will get the folder icon with an exclamation point instead. If you're encountering a sad iPod icon or a red X icon, then this video is not for you, and you'll need to replace the hard drive on your iPod instead. For most iPods starting from the classic fourth gen, you'll need a 30 pin to USB cable to connect it to your Mac or PC, with the exception of the nano seventh gen, which requires a lightning cable instead. Given most if not all modern devices use USB-C as the norm now, you may need a USB-C to USB-A dongle as well. When you connect your iPod to your computer, the iPod will switch to a screen that says do not disconnect in black and white. At this point, I'll have separate sections for macOS and Windows as part of this video. Let's look at the macOS section first. Since macOS Catalina, the iTunes app is no longer used and all iPod syncing functions are now integrated into the Finder. When connected, your iPod should appear on the Finder in Locations and a warning that says your Mac has detected an iPod in recovery mode. Click on OK and then click on Restore iPod to begin a complete firmware restore, which involves reformatting the iPod's drive. You should see a spinning icon on the iPod, which means the firmware payload is being transferred. Once that icon disappears, wait a few seconds for the iPod to restart. If it doesn't, you can safely eject it from the Finder by clicking the Eject icon which should allow the iPod to safely reboot. On Windows PCs, you'll need to use the iTunes app to restore your iPod to the latest firmware. Upon connecting the device, you should be greeted with a notification that says your iPod is in recovery mode. Just like on a Mac, you just need to click on the restore button, which will download the firmware and begin the restore process. Now that the iPod has rebooted, you should see an Apple logo with a progress bar below, which indicates the on-device restore progress. Once the restore is complete, your device should start up as normal. One thing I will mention though, is if you have a 4th gen iPod Classic or an iPod Mini, you may see this icon during the restore progress. This means you need to plug your iPod into a power brick to complete it, as the computer does not have enough power to guarantee a successful restore. Keep in mind, if you are still encountering the same startup issues, you may need to replace the hard drive on your iPod in order to continue using the device. So this is how to restore a corrupted iPod. Thank you all for watching this video.